Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we will learn about reactive screen components. If you want to know uh, how we can use reactive screen components, what are the benefits and how they are different from just the normal screen components that we already have in our flow, then keep on watching. But before that, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, a click on the subscribe button below will be awesome. Now let's dive straight into the video. Okay, so the first question is what are reactive screen components? So basically with reactive screen components, you can react to your user's actions on the same screen at the same time. So what happened before is uh, when we used to create flows, uh, we will create one flow to take user's information. Then by clicking on the next button, we will uh, create another screen component and in that screen component, we will show something else to the user according to the response that uh, they have filled in the previous screen but with the reactive screen components you can uh, interact with your users in real time you can show them the response uh, that they should get from the data they have filled uh, without clicking on the next button and the next button hassle will be gone you can put more components on the screens and show your users all the information at one screen so they don't have to toggle between the next and the previous button again and again okay now first and the foremost thing we will do is uh, go to process automation settings opt in for the reactive components okay so what happens is in the process automation settings you have a setting here which is opt in to reactive screens beta version okay uh, it says that reactive screen makes your flow screen components react to changes on the same screen as I told you, reducing the need for multiple screens in a flow. So what we uh, used to do is we used to add multiple screens on one screen uh, as I gave you an example let's say we are taking the user's information like name email id phone and by clicking on the next we are showing him uh, the information he has uh, inserted in the previous screen like your name is this your phone number is this your email is this like that okay so that will reduce the need of multiple screen components on flow if you don't want to opt in you just uh, uncheck it and save it if you feel like uh, you have made the wrong decision or uh, maybe you're ready for the reactive components now you can just come here and opt in for it and click on the save button once you have saved it now you can go to the flow and create the flow as you want to create i will show you one or two examples of the reactive components like how you can take benefits of it but these are just purely simple examples you know it better you know your requirements better how do you want to use it that is just up to you okay uh, let's create a screen flow because uh, these are reactive screen components of course and we will take a screen element uh, now let's do one thing let's calculate a discount okay so what we will do is we will add a number input here and let's name it product price okay and let's take slider for discount percentage and let's name it discount percent okay uh, let it be 50% 0 to 50% discount is okay and the step size is 1 that means the discount percentage will be incremented by 1% uh, you can make it 10 you can make it 5 whatever you want to and the first value will be 0 the first percent value will be 0 okay uh, now let's take another number and another number this will be discount amount and this will be discounted price okay so now how we will calculate the discount amount and discounted price uh, in the discount amount we will create a new variable which will be a formula variable because we need to calculate the discount let's name it discount amount data type will be number And here we will take the price, product price, multiply by 
discount percent's value and this is the value then we will just divide it by 100 just check the syntax very quickly it is valid and click on done now let's calculate the discounted price and for this as well we will create a formula variable this will also be number and here we will add product price minus product price <coughs> into discount person dot value on 100 okay now let's just check the syntax again it is valid and click on done now we have added a product price slider discount amount and discount price okay let's just save it uh, let's name the screen calculate discount okay i think we are good to go let's click on done uh, let's just think if the reactive screen components uh, were not there how we would achieve this example is we will create this screen component in which we will add the product price and discount percentage and we will have another screen component in which we would put these two boxes uh, and on the click of the next button of the previous screen we will just show the uh, calculated discount amount and the discounted percentage with the same formula but in the next screen okay so what we can achieve with the reactive components is uh, we can skip the second screen that was supposed to be there for the discounted amount and discounted price and now we can show all of it in one screen okay i'll just click on done and without wasting any more time we will just save it calculate discount and let's debug it now you will see in action what is reactive component is all about so so let's say the product price is 100 and we give him the discount of five percent here you can see as i'm increasing or decreasing the discount percentage the discount amount and discounted price is calculating in real time okay so that is the main benefit of using reactive screen component because with this you can show the user the results in real time in one screen without clicking on the next button again and again without showing them multiple screen uh, instead you can do all the work in one screen and also this looks dynamic and this looks fantastic right uh, if the user can see the result here by themselves then it will be easier for them to calculate how much percent of discount they want to give to the uh, customer or this is just an example of a calculated percentage but the overall idea is to see how reactive components work and how you can use reactive components just to show all the data all the real-time data to use user on one screen um, let me give you one another quick example um, let's go here and let's take a text input This is also a good example of uh, seeing how the reactive components work. Let's name it right here and take another text. Name it output and in this value we will take right here. Okay, let's just save it and debug it. Now you see how dynamic it will look when I write in this and you will get the output in the output section. See, hello, welcome to SFDC girl community. You see, as I'm typing here, you will get the result here as well. So that looks dynamic, that feels dynamic. The user will feel they have the power to change everything on the same screen other than just clicking on the buttons and waiting the flow to do the work for them. Now, uh, let me just show you if we opt out from the process automation setting, then what happens? Okay, let's go here. And let's opt out from here and now let's debug it to see how this would have worked uh, if 
the reactive components are not there okay so let's add the product price and you see nothing happens uh, if you give 10% discount if you give 12% discount the customer or the user wouldn't know that how much the discount they are giving in rupees and how and what is the discounted price that they want to ask the customer to give to them uh, let's write here as well you see nothing happens in the output that looks just static and dead in comparison to uh, what reactive components look they look just dynamic and fabulous so uh, that is how you can use reactive components in your scenarios in your uh, real-time use cases that you get in your company in your organization and you can just make the flow more powerful by using the reactive components okay so that is it that was today's example i hope you found this useful and you will use in your daily life scenarios in your daily use cases i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning